Hi everyone, it's Mads again and welcome to the part 5 of our lesson number 2, still in week 2. And this uh, topic is still connected to vector addition. I uh, just want to briefly explain this one, these topics that we have here because uh, this is very important concepts that you need to understand before we proceed to analytic method or analytical method. Now, the topics that I'm going to discuss to you right now are head-to-tail fashion and parallelogram method. Now, we are still in the graphical method. That is why in presenting this one, we'll still use our uh, graphical method concept. So, let's go. So, for uh, head-to-tail method, we have here an example here. Example, we have vector A, which is 50 newtons going to north and letter B, 19 newtons 35 degrees north of east. Let's go. To, to graph this one, still we will be uh, using a scale. Like for example, I will set a scale here. Uh, let us say 1 centimeter is equivalent to 10 newtons. For vector A, this is 5 centimeters. And... Uh, for vector B, this is 9 centimeters. Now, let's try to graph this one. We have here north, east, south, west. The first thing to do is to graph our first vector. The first vector here is 50 newtons, which has an equivalent scale of 5 centimeters. So, let's grab our ruler and label here at the point of origin. So this is 5 centimeters. We will trace this one. And this is our vector B. I will label this one as vector B 50 newtons due north. And the second one is the vector B 90 newtons 35 degrees north of east. So from this one from from the head of the first vector, we will uh, draw a we will draw here a imaginary scale or or Cartesian plane so that we could easily trace the vector B. So we'll still uh, make here. Um, simple Cartesian plane that uh, illustrates our direction. So this is north, this is east, this is west, and the downside here is the south. So our angle is 35 degrees. Now we will try to place our protractor here and get the angle of 35 degrees before we plot the vector. So this is this is uh, I think uh, here somewhere here that's our 35 and then from this one so we will uh, align the ruler to that angle so this is uh, 90 is equivalent to 9 centimeters. So from this one, I will use blue color so that you can easily identify our vector B. So this is our vector, vector B, which is 90 newtons. So I just want to place the angle here so that the uh, we will be notified that this is approximately or this is equals to 35 degrees of angle. Now to find the resultant vector of this one, as you can see here, to find the resultant vector, we will go back to the definition of finding the resultant vector and it says in the definition that resultant vector must be connected from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector. That means we will connect our 
resultant vector here. Like that one. And this time, I will use uh, red color so that you can uh, identify the resultant vector easily. So, from this one, from the tail of the first vector, going to the head of the second vector. And this is now our resultant vector. Okay. To find the value of that resultant vector, we will manually measure it from the ruler. So I think this is uh, from this as uh, what I've seen here. This is 12.5. So our resultant vector is 12.5. Uh, this is still in the centimeter unit. Now let's get the angle. So the angle here is angle of our uh, or the direction of our uh, resultant vector is we'll still grab again our protractor and put it here aligned to the horizontal line of our Cartesian plane like that and try to find the level of this line so what I'm seeing here is we are in um, I think uh, this is um, 55 55 yes we are in a 55 degrees of angle so I will put here starting from here this one the angle here is 55 degrees so that's the angle of our um, resultant vector. Writing the answer, it becomes like this. Resultant vector is equals to, of course, you have to convert 12.5 centimeters into newtons. So 12.5 centimeters times, in every 1 cm, we have uh, 10 newtons cancel out cancel out and this is 125 this will give you 125 newtons so the resultant vector here is uh, 125 newtons angle is uh, 55 degrees of north of is so this is now the resultant vector of this example okay you can post the video and copy this one now let's go to the second method which is the parallelogram method and i have uh, already written the uh, samples here so that we can uh, utilize our time now, for example, in parallelogram method, vector A is 40 newtons and vector B is uh, 60 newtons of uh, is 35 degrees north. Find the resultant vector of these uh, vectors. Again, we will be setting our scale. So, our scale here is still... 1 centimeter is equals to 10 newtons. So if you're going to convert this one, this will give you vector A here will give you 4 centimeters and vector B here will give you 6 centimeters. Okay. Now, let us grab this one. The first uh, vector is 4 centimeters going to north. So we'll just... Uh, put our ruler here and try to trace that one from the point of origin this is vector a now in parallelogram class 
the approach in graphing parallelogram is all the vectors that we have will be starting from the point of origin. So remember that in parallelogram, vectors must be uh, drawn from the point of origin of this Cartesian plane. So that means the vector B here, which is 66 centimeters, will be drawn from the point of origin. But let us try to locate where is this angle. So we'll use the, again, protractor. And uh, this is 35 degrees. So 35 degrees is somewhere, somewhere here. That marking. And now we will trace our vector B since the equivalent value is 6 centi centimeters. It's like that. And this is now our vector B up to 6. And this is now the vector B of that line. Now, in parallelogram, in finding the resultant vector, we will draw a pa um, parallel line for vector A here and also parallel line of vector B here. So, we'll start from uh, vertical component first. So, we'll draw here a parallel line similar still in uh, length which is 4 centimeters. So if you draw that from here, that would be 4 centimeters like that. So I will use red so that you can identify. So this is 4 centimeters. And again, we will still draw here parallel line equivalent to the length of this vector. So this is still equals to 6 centimeters. This one. There. And uh, this is now the still head to tail. This is now the parallelogram method. As you can see, so we have a vector A and we draw a parallel line equal to the length of that vector A here and we draw a parallel line equal to the length of that vector B here. In finding the resultant vector, we just have to just have to draw the resultant vector here starting from the origin of that Cartesian plane going to the opposite side. Something like this one. This is the, this is now the resultant vector. Okay. So since this is, we'll just have to put our angle so that we can uh, be aware of that uh, point of reference. So this is 35 degrees. Okay. So let's try to identify the uh, length of or try to measure the length of that uh, resultant vector here. So our resultant vector is as uh, what I'm seeing here. This is uh, 9 centimeters. Let, let me check again. Let me try, try to check it. So it's uh, 9 centimeters. So the value of our uh, resultant here is 9 centimeters based on my measurement, based on my measurement, actual measurement. So to write that, resultant vector is equals to 9 centimeters. But this is not the final answer because it is still expressed in centimeter unit. We have to convert centimeter go, going back to the original unit. Now, what is the 
direction of this resultant vector as you can see here. Of course, to know the direction of that, we will use our protractor to identify the direction of the resultant vector which is the exact angle of that based on the uh, scale of our protractor. So based on my measurement, what I'm seeing here is the angle of or the direction of our resultant vector is in uh, 55. So the angle here is 55. So I will draw the angle here from this one. I will use red uh, color so that you can identify. So from this one. The angle there is 55 with respect to is. That means our angle or the direction of this vector is 55 degrees. Now we have to convert 9 centimeters back to the original unit. 1 cm is equivalent to 10 newtons. Cancel out, cancel out and this will give you 10 newtons. So to write the resultant vector of that, resultant vector is equals to 90 newtons, 55 degrees, north of east. And this is now the answer for these examples here. So we have here vectors A, vectors B. So we have a graph here which applies the concept of parallelogram and we computed the resultant vector. So the resultant vector now with the corresponding uh, directions is expressed into newtons, angle, and the exact direction. So that is how we um, graph the parallelogram method. So remember, in dealing with parallelogram, all vectors must be drawn from the point of origin, which is this one. So that would be all. You can post this video and copy this sample problem that we have. Thank you so much and God bless everyone.